electricity meters. Hello, hello. That seems okay, so I shall be standing on by. More 160 metres portable, again using the 28 metre long light pole as an antenna. Or at least that's the attempt, because I'm not physically connecting to it. Again, I'm using a loop made of 20 metres of thin insulated wire in a triangle held up against the light pole. Oh. Just in case you're wondering, I couldn't get this L match to operate on 160 metres with the 20 metre perimeter feed loop. For 160, I had to use the magnetic loop tuner. When I was last here, I was using a Seacom transceiver. That didn't have a 50 ohm output. Instead, it was designed for use with a wire and fed antenna, probably about 20 or 30 metres long. This time I'm using the FT817, which puts out about one and a half watts of AM. VK3 Yankee Echo, is that you Peter? Uh, VK3 DQ, um, that's QRM right here, uh, but your signal is uh, uh, 5 and 9 plus 10. Yeah, thanks John, and uh, good morning Peter. Yeah, I can't copy you, though you, um, you're sort of in the noise, but um, uh, your signal strength is about, uh, as John says, about 5 and 9. Uh, you probably could do a bit more modulation, but uh, the noise here is uh, is pretty high. But yeah, no, I can copy you. Yeah, and the loop seems to be, it's working pretty well actually, considering everything. I've heard a lot worse, uh, lot worse signals from people who are running much higher power than you. I'm from Eric, I'm sorry Eric, you are just not readable. I know you are there, the that's about all. Sorry. VK3 AR live, VK3 DQ. Okay, John. VK3 DQ in a group from VK3 AR live. Up and down a bit, and Eric's just about uncopyable, which is pretty normal. Right, thanks, Roy and uh, Peter. VK3 YE, uh, portable Chelsea Park, VK3 CKL. Yeah, note you're not at the beach, Peter, but uh, in the park, same location as you were on. Uh, on Melbourne Cup Day, and uh, okay on the one and a half watts is in the Delta Loop loading up the uh, 28 metre line pole, I think 28 metres she said. Uh, doing very well Peter, every transmission you've made uh, has been fully readable here, you're somewhere around about 10 over 9, not that the signal strength means much, it's readability that's important. <laughs> I think the uh, 
the 100 watt portable amplifier or transmitter is the answer. I can hear you no worries at all when I'm mobile, Peter. I can certainly hear you now that I'm home. I haven't conclusively proved this yet, but it would seem that the antenna works best when the coupling loop is reasonably open, rather than like a hairpin.